My name is Shigeo Ijuin. I torture to settle other people's grudges. Basically, I work as a torture sommelier. The history of torture is just as long as the history of humankind. When you need someone to obey you, it comes down to using force to find a weakness in their mentality. Bring them to the brink of death. That's what true torture is. I'm knowledgeable about all the various types of torturing methods there are in the world. Listen here, you guys. Torture is a wonder created by humankind. You probably think I'm mad, hearing what I have to say. But listen, I do have a little bit of rationality. The only people I torture are scumbags who don't deserve to live in our society. This includes people who are selfish, don't understand other people's pain, and hurt others for no reason. It isn't enough to deal with those people using punishments made by the law. Enjoy this pain. If you want to repent for your sins, you need to go through torture. T-O-R-T-U-R-E. Don't you guys agree? I don't advertise my business, but there are many people that come to request my services by word of mouth. I was in a marriage fraud and lost everything I have. Is that so? Rukawakun, please make us some tea. Yes, sir. Today's client is a 40-year-old woman, a victim of marriage fraud. Here you go. This man, by the way, is Takao Rukawa. He's an assistant in my torturing business. So, what exactly was the amount of money you lost? The total amount is $300,000. That's the highest amount of money lost in a marriage fraud compared to my other clients. According to the victim, the offender is a man in his late 30s and a habitual marriage fraud criminal. The victim is a 40-year-old woman. She apparently terminated her parents' life insurance for him. Of course, we do a thorough investigation after receiving requests. Yeah, he said he received quite a lump of money recently. It's hard to find substantial proof for marriage fraud. I have money! Bring me tequila! Chug it all! Bastard! And victims often cry themselves to sleep after losing everything they have. Rukawakun, did you get the information we needed? He's spending way too much money for someone that's unemployed. The information from the client was correct. He's a pathetic bastard. Tricked a woman that loved him into believing he'll marry her. He even ruined her parents' lives. Then, he deserves to live like hell. And receive humanity's worst form of torture! We already know where the man lives. All we needed to do was wait for him to come home from his usual cabaret club and... Whose money do you think you're drinking with, huh? You bastard. <laughs> the modified stun gun with extra power knocked the man out with one shot. We brought the man to a deserted mountain in the N Prefecture. Rukawakun, is everything prepared? Yes, it's all ready. What are you doing to me? Who are you people? We then carry the man to a small lake. Hey you, what did you do with the money you stole from the marriage fraud? Marriage fraud? Ha! Are you talking about that woman? It's not a fraud. It's called love. Pure, true love. So you think it's okay to fool people that love you into giving you money and go to cabaret clubs to drink with other girls? What do you mean fooled her? She gave me the money. It's my money now, so it shouldn't matter how I spend it. He is one awful bastard. Torturing him should be worth it. It seems the preparation was complete. Ijuin san, the canoes are both ready. You're right on time. Talking to this piece of garbage hurts my brain. Two wooden canoes. This is the torturing device we're going to be using today. This canoe has some specifications to it and. Ah! What is this? The sizing is perfect. Place the man tightly inside of the two canoes with ropes making sure that his hands and feet were sticking out. What are you planning to- Shut up and put this in your mouth. <laughs> then, we inserted a funnel into his mouth and forced liquids down his throat. That liquid is a mixture made of honey and milk. We also spread the mixture over the man's arms and legs. Once he was completely covered in the mixture, we dropped him into the stagnant lake. Goodbye. Wait, where are you Who going? Knows? You, however, are going to hell. This torturing method is known as scaphism, and was used by ancient Persians. Not even seconds after being dropped into the water, the man will experience the horrors of this torturing method firsthand. Various insects will come flying at this man, attracted to the scent of the honey and milk. 
flies, bees, beetles, and various other bugs will crawl over the man's face, arms, and legs. Won't be able to move his arms or legs since they're locked in place, and the insects will eat the skin along with the nectar. We made him drink a whole lot of milk, so his bowel movement should be working soon. Stomach hurts! The man is still wearing his pants, but eventually he'll have no choice but to pee where he is, with his underwear covered in urine. The situation on the canoe is absolute hell. After leaving the man in that condition for 24 hours, we go back to the lake where the man is at. Oh, are you doing alright here? Thank God you're here! Please, help! You stink. Shut up. Just like the first day, we forced the mixture down his throat and reapply it over his exposed body. After leaving the man for three days, his body starts to show some changes. <gasps> I'm itchy! I'm itchy! Something starts to crawl inside the skin of his arms and legs. The identity of that something is... <gasps> yes, maggots. As his skin starts to rot, an outbreak of maggots begins. It's truly a sight of despair. We make sure he doesn't die by periodically giving him the honey milk mixture, but... Hey! Drink! We had to battle the awful scent of rotting flesh, urine, and feces. Stop! Don't eat me! After a few more days, things start to affect him mentally. Just kill me! Anyone in this sort of torment would wish the same thing, but there's no one around to grant him his wish. Seventeen long days later, the man died. Seems like he finally died. Gosh, he has no more flesh. As the responsibility of the people performing the torture, we do our best so that the subject doesn't die. After having his flesh consumed by insects and being covered in his own excretions, he finally died after the maggots consumed him from the inside. In order for this torturing method to produce maximum results, we had to put in the work as well. That was scaphism, the most horrifying execution method known to mankind. Burning a scumbag makes the fire look bad. That's true. Of course, we leave no evidence of the body. A man that breaks a woman's heart and ruins her life. A terrible criminal of marriage fraud. We find the perfect torturing method for bastards like him and execute the torture. That's the job of a torture sommelier. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.